what's going on everyone and welcome back to more outriders today's quest is to review the recent update for outriders that is centered around important bug fixes and of course some rebalancing if you'd like more outriders videos and content dropping a like and subscribing to this channel is the best way to do so thank you so much for subscribing i do appreciate your support and let's get started with today's update all right so let's kick this off with an overview of the update itself for starters many may be wondering if this is the update that restores the lost legendary items and inventory for for players and unfortunately it is not the developers specifically note in the beginning of their patch notes that this is still being worked on so hopefully we can expect more from that soon besides this the update mainly focuses on a ton of bugs and glitches in outriders with an occasional quote-unquote rebalance here or there so for those worrying about big nerfs like some of the other updates no need to really worry about that here now i won't list out every single change but only the more important highlights from the notes. so if you want to read the entire thing over like a high profile lawyer then i will leave a link in the description for these notes. Now in terms of PC changes, there was some added support for rebinding more keys, support for the Steam controller as well as FPS locking issues that have all been updated. If you're a big Razer fan and notice some issues with your software when playing Outriders, fixes for this have been also added to the update. Now the 300 megabyte files that cause players games to crash has also been fixed and lastly the field of view has been increased from 90 to 130. Moving on to some general changes, people can fly, fix the annoying issue of getting stuck at the sign in screen now lighting has been improved but also the visibility of your crosshairs and side quests already complete will no longer persist on your map now besides these there was a rebalance section in the general changes that addressed the leveling system slash scaling multipliers now this is very important so make sure that you pay attention scaling will only happen when your average gear level is a minimum of three levels higher than the enemies you're facing as it was previously two levels higher Outgoing damage will now be reduced less, meaning you'll be doing more damage if enemies are scaled. They also made improvements to incoming damage scaling, so players won't have their health and armor drained as bad or fast. So this is very, very good news for players who have been having trouble with expeditions while playing with their friends, where it felt as if the enemies were almost impossible to defeat because of the scaling system in Multiplier. Now moving on to Multiplayer, they fixed a number of bugs and issues such as joining the host, performance issues, random session drops, and more. The default background matchmaking setting has also been changed to closed, which was previously open. So hopefully you'll be getting kicked out of sessions less from people who haven't changed their session to private. Story point mismatching was addressed as well, and more than anything, they just added warning when mismatched. Now there is a lot of multiplayer stability fixes in this update, so if you're curious about something that was affecting you, again, you can go ahead and check out the full list in the description below. All right, moving on to gear, skills, and mods for crafting, they reduce the resources it takes to improve an item from rare to epic, as well as what it takes to raise the level of gear from level 1 to level 30. Now reduce damage on skill damage mods when playing at lower tiers was fixed as well. For the trickster class they fixed a bug that caused hunt the prey to not teleport but still go into cooldown. Pyromancers feed the flame skill would sometimes not apply ash to screechers. This has also been fixed. Also the pyromancers phoenix nestling skill granted incorrect HP to players and has been fixed to do 50% of HP. For devastators unfortunately no buffs added but mainly fixed to the perseverance mod to make sure that golem actually wears off and they made sure the extra quake mod was not giving devastators two uses but instead one like it was supposed to do gravity leap should no longer cause you to be stuck in certain places when used and then for technomancers the mini gun mod massacre was changed to have its duration reverted back to the original value and it will only stack up to six times now so if you had a build that you were using to boost your ap insanely it may be a lot less now now toxic lead should trigger always now and they removed the bug that allowed technomancer turrets to be placed on vertical surfaces like walls or on the ceiling also the visual indicator for the robos has been quote unquote improved moving on to enemies bosses and npc issues ai snipers will now give players more time to dodge their shots so no damage reduction however they also reduce the amount of knockback from creatures in the stargrave expedition there is now also a greater delay between spawns and a reduced number of the offending creatures in expeditions for bosses the molten akari chrysaloid and yagak bosses have all had some fixes applied but they also noted some fixes for crawlers ranged attacks going beyond the actual attack range as indicated in the ui lastly the co-op exploit for multiple legendaries from historian bounty or monster hunt quest has been fixed and added protection for claiming items from the inbox when the stash and inventory are full has also been addressed all right everyone so that is everything to know from today's update in the comments below let me know what you think and was there anything i didn't mention that you felt maybe was important for them to fix again i'll leave a link to the notes in the description below so be sure to check 
check those out if you'd like. More Outriders content will be available soon, so be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of that. My name is Silverback, our quest is complete, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.